Home Affairs Minister Stephen Kampiongo has warned political leaders who are mocking ministers who have tested positive for COVID-19 during their course of duty. Speaking when he received food and COVID-19 supplies from the Islamic Educational Trust of Zambia to the Zambia Correctional Services, the minister challenged all Zambians so to desist from hate speech and give the two ministers all the support for them to recover. Wilson Melinda reports. Different stakeholders have continued donating to the Zambia Correction Services in a bid to prevent inmates from contracting COVID-19. The latest are the Islamic Education Trust of Zambia who donated food items and COVID-19 supplies. We all need to maintain very high levels of hygiene. And given the fact that there are quite a lot of inmates here, I'm told it's one of the oldest uh, prisons in the country. Mr. Minister, sir, we have brought other uh, cleaning items and that. This, morning, this development has elated inmates. We thank the Islamic Trust for the gesture that we have done. Indeed, it may look small in our eyes, but to us who are behind these walls, this will go a long way. Home Affairs Minister Stephen Campiongo was at hand to receive the donation on behalf of the Zambia Correction Services. COVID-19 scourge has an unbearable effect on the individual, family, organizational and national economic performance. But you have decided to share the little you have with our dear brothers and sisters, the inmates. Mr. Kampiongo also used the opportunity to warn political leaders who are mocking ministers that tested positive for COVID-19 while on duty. And then all meaning citizen deserves to commend them for their sacrifice. And I'm talking about Honorable Dr. Chitano Chilufia, Minister of Health, and Honorable Dora Sria, Minister Responsible for Information and Broadcasting. I know that these dear colleagues wholeheartedly devoted and continue to devote their time and energies to ensure that every citizen had access to information on COVID-19 in the country as a way of educating and sensitizing the citizens. The minister has further challenged corporate entities to emulate the gesture by the Islamic Education Trust. Wilson Mulinda, ZNBC News, Lusaka. Remember to hit the like button, place a comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.